And then 619 says, the problem is that on paper, the players have enough for a World Series if they perform to expectations. It's the intangibles you can't account for, like clubhouse dynamic. That that has been a knock on Preller. Roster construction, cohesive roster, right? 2023, the knock was like too many type A, too many stars. It's kind of counterintuitive or like an oxymoron. What do you mean too many good players? Yeah. But it almost seems like when you do the autopsy on 2023, they had too many stars and not enough like glue guys to make it make it work. Yeah, you had too many me's instead of we's. Mm-hmm. Yeah, way too many me's. Uh, and that's been the biggest problem is like finding those we players and and finding the glue pieces that 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 kind of makes everything gel. And then the problem is the we the the me players aren't great at having it all gel together. So do you have any confidence that can be fixed? <laughs> like one off season, you know, the, the core is back. I mean, there's this scenario where Soto isn't back, but I still think it's more likely than not that Soto is back. So you have like this six, eight, 10 player core, the big four, the Darvishes and the Musgroves, the Suarez is, you can go from there. Cronenworth, yeah. if you, you know, my point eight, nine, 10 core players, can you change it by changing what's around them? You know what's going to happen next year? I don't. And me and Darren talked a little bit about this. Okay. They're going to play well next year. And they're going to look good. And Manny's going to have a good season. And Bogarts is going to have a good season. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the first sign that Manny gets, told you so. And you're going to see a lot of, told you so. Nothing's wrong. No, you guys are all so. stupid. I don't think so because you can't say told you so off 2023. It's gone. It's lost. Well, there will be a, why was everybody freaking out? We just needed to fix some things and we did at the end of the year and look what happened. Yeah, because we were freaking out because you missed the postseason. I know, but <laughs> I'm telling you, like, don't be surprised if we start hearing those things. Well, then things they better they win the well World Series. Year. Like, hey, all of those reports of me being a bad clubhouse leader, you guys are idiots. Well, it is interesting. After the report came out from Kevin. We had them that day. Yeah. It was like a Friday morning or Thursday night. Yeah. And then they went 14 and two. <laughs> like literally from yeah. the day it was published to the day the season ended. Yep. They went 14 and two with two extra inning losses. I think I have that right. Those are the only two losses they had. They did not lose a game in nine innings in their final 16 games. Yeah. You don't think that's coming next so. year? You don't think that's coming? <laughs> like, hey. We found some. We worked on some things at the end of the last year. We carried it over this but year. But that doesn't discredit Kevin because they may have no. needed that moment. No, I, I'm not. I'm to not, then change. I'm just saying, instead of looking at it for what it is, like, hey, we're playing some good baseball. This year's this year. Last year's in the past. Uh, you know, you don't think that if they play well next year, anything of 2023 will be brought up? Because I do. <sighs> In 2022, did they bring up 2021? Like last year down the stretch where they like told you guys? No, because they changed the manager, coaching staff, all of that. It was all brand new. So you think you're getting a lot of told you so when they get off to a 19 and nine start? A little bit. Well, then I'm going to immediately rip into that okay. and poke holes in it immediately because you can never make up for, as AJ Preller said, Two weeks ago, personally, I feel like it was a lost season. So you can never get it back. Like they, they can never get that back, no matter what they do in 2024. Now, if they win the World Series, all good. Yeah. Water under the bridge, but anything else is not water under the bridge. Yeah. I, I wouldn't just, think. I just do think there will be a lot of like, you guys overreacted last year. Oh, you yes. Yes. I agree. Uh, two words for you Reese Hoskins. Yes. And yes. So he's missed the entire year. He's active now for the Phillies. He's their first baseman. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, is he active or is he not? Because I didn't see him on the, the NLCS roster. Oh, he's not active? I don't think he is. Oh. Well, whatever. I thought I thought they were they were talking, they were talking about, about activating him. But he's not active? I don't believe so. Okay. Well, whatever. Reese Hoskins, very productive first baseman, 30 years of age, 800 plus OPS player, same OPS plus in his career than Manny Machado. <laughs> okay, <laughs> is hitting the free agent market off a year in which he didn't play because of injury? The Padres had huge problems at first base. I'm looking at you, Jay Cronenworth, in yeah. 2023. I don't know if they have the resources to upgrade Jim or what they're going to do with Jay Cronenworth, but this idea that Reese Hoskins is a free agent, 
He's not a $100 million player off no. injury. He's like a Cody Bellinger, one year, 18 exactly. million show me deal. Is that something that the Padres could get involved with? Or are they going to be so handcuffed based on the spending that they can't go out and try to get a player of Reese Hoskins caliber this offseason? One thing that they need to definitively do is look to upgrade at first base. Mm -hmm. I think that would be the first upgrade I look at. Then upgrade in center field. And then get another catcher that can pair with Luis Campisano. Those are the three roster construction moves that I'm starting out with. You're good with the rotation. Position player wise. <laughs> exactly. Position player wise. Those yeah. are the three position player wise. Those are the first three things I'm doing, man. It's tough to get by in the big leagues with um, Eric Hosmer followed by Jake Cronenworth at first base. It's yeah. been very exposing for the Padres the last decade. You can't live off of moments in professional sports. You can't give guys contracts off moments. Yeah, it was a great moment. It was an amazing moment that will never be forgotten. Like a year ago today or whenever it was. But guess what? His production has dropped every single year. Mm -hmm. He was one of the worst, as far as production goes, first baseman in all of baseball. And you gave him an $80 million contract for seven years. Hmm. I, I, to play I, first base. To play first. And... I don't know if they're going to even consider re-signing Hassan Kim, which they should. But if they let Hassan Kim go, then okay, Jake, Corner, Jake Cronenworth goes back to second base. But now you're downgrading there because Hassan Kim's a better player than Jake Cronenworth. Right now. You always want to look to upgrade your positions. Mm -hmm. Jake Cronenworth, that position needs an upgrade desperately. So I, 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 would, I would try very hard this offseason to not only move off of Jake, but you got to get a better upgrade at first base. You just have to. It's like it's like a, almost a, a necessary need, I think, that this team ha needs to get. What's your pitch to the other twenty nine teams? Hey, do you you know, like to your point, oh, Jake Cronenworth is in his thirties. He's making eleven plus million a year. It's not the most money in the history of baseball, but it's not nothing. Here's here's the pitch, and it's going to hurt you because they did it to themselves. I'll tie a prospect to him. Here's a, here's another yeah. prospect. Yeah. I agree with that. That's an expensive prospect. It, it would be. But like the business is you got to win baseball games. I don't care about feelings. Mm -hmm. I don't care about moments that you had. Are you getting it done or are you not? And Jake's unfortunately not getting it done. He's regressed every year. Could he prove everybody wrong if he's on his team next year and have a 27 home run season and a 810 OPS at first base? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Do I see it happening? Maybe not. No. I want to get an upgrade there. That's position wise, like first base, center field. You got to get upgrades there. Yeah, no, Trent Christian, I mean, come on. I mean, how many more years can you have a guy fail to hit and say, well, you justify it because he's got a good glove? I mean, come on, come on. Offense over defense, especially at Petco, where it's hard yeah. to hit. You, you need offense first at Petco. You have to. First base, center field. They got to get more production out of those positions and catcher to your point too. They need to get more production offensively out of all three of those positions in 2024. You know what I'm worried they're going to do? What? Next year, Hassan Kim's going to move back to shortstop. Jake Cronenworth is going to go to. Mm -hmm. to I've thought base, about this. Yeah, and they're going to move Xander, second year of an 11 year deal to first to first base. I don't think you can do it because Machado's not going to be playing in the field until. Uh, who knows when at some point into the year they do that man that is just a clear like you want to know why aj preller sucks at roster I don't construction want Xander bogart's playing first base there you go i mean that's no you're no better off he doesn't hit for power either it works in philly with bryce harper playing first base yeah because he's more of a power threat than xander bogart it doesn't work with xander at first base exactly